So first things first, we are going to measure the length of the rotor from one journal to the other. And we are going to adjust uh, the two pedestals so that this machine can accommodate that rotor. We measured 16 inches in this case, so we need to adjust the pedestals uh, to this total length of 16 inches. And then we uh, lock them down. Next, we adjust our end thrusts. That is very important. The rotor uh, is not allowed to move left or right. We need to adjust these so that only one bearing at a time can touch the rotor, so the rotor is contained but not constrained. We also adjust our safety hold downs. That's another important aspect. And we apply our belt tension so that we have a chance to drive this rotor with our motor. So, if we want to set up a different rotor, let's say we have a very, very large rotor now. We have uh, 24 inches of radius and we just hit the tab key on the keyboard at 24 inches here. Um, we leave the tolerance alone for now and we have an A dimension of uh, 5 inches, 36 inches and 37 inches. So the question is why do we need these A, B, C dimensions? Well, let me explain. So let's draw a rotor first so that we can visualize what our A, B, C dimensions are doing and why we need them. Here's our rotor, our support, and that's the journal, one left, one right, very important. And the support, of course, are these red triangles uh, to measure whatever vibration or unbalance is in that part. Let's convert this to a beam with two supports again. And we have two weights on top of that beam. Uh, they are not exactly on top of the red triangles and they have different weights. So how much are these weights in one of those supports? Well, here we draw the ABC dimensions because now we need them. We have an A and a B and a C. And only if we have these ABC dimensions, then we can calculate the forces from the masses into the supports. And that's the important part. And if we now click the button called Start Balancing, remember that we already have a rotor set up, which is called Test Rotor for Demo. And now it will just simply give us a warning. This rotor setup already exists you like to save it under a different rotor name. If we say no, we override the existing rotor name with the new information. If we say yes, we have a chance to just change that name and say give it any name we want, large test rotor. We click start balancing and again we go ahead and measure and we do that a second time. We just do as if we would have made a correction in our little demo here. And when we run it the second time, it is nicely in tolerance and we have a balanced rotor. So let me jump to uh, something more basic than this. We go to new rotor and we will go over the details in the next video.